Appearances can be deceiving, and this is no different in the animal kingdom. Some of the fiercest looking animals end up being the most docile creatures of all, unless you're dealing with a pack, of course. However, today we're focusing on the other end of the spectrum. Let's look at 10 of the deadliest animals that appear completely harmless. Watch out for number 1. The venom of this creature is so potent that if it comes into contact with your skin, it's game over. With all that said, let's get started, shall we? Number 10, the geographic cone snail. Sometimes, you can't help but touch the beautiful shell of the geographic cone snail. They live in the reefs of the Indo-Pacific regions, where they often hunt small fish. The thin shell is pink, red, or white and is covered with line-like threads. However, behind this beautiful structure lies a shocking truth. The cone snail has an incredible ability to detect prey swimming nearby. Once they recognize them, they use a needle-like growth in their mouth to inject a type of venom into their prey. This venom is highly toxic and has analgesic properties. When this venom enters you, it causes paralysis. The sting, though painless, is extremely dangerous as the victim can't detect it. These killer snails don't primarily target humans, but that doesn't mean we're safe. They are a real threat to divers. In 2004 alone, about 30 human fatalities were reported due to cone snails. Number 9, the slow loris. Those pretty eyes will make you fall in love with the slow loris. They are a type of nocturnal animal found in Southeast Asia and nearby regions. Don't be fooled by their big, round eyes and soft bodies. They are one of the most venomous mammals in the world. The slow loris excretes a special type of venom from its elbows. This venom, when mixed with the slow loris's saliva, becomes a highly toxic concoction, very dangerous when it enters the bloodstream. When threatened, the slow loris takes a mouthful of this toxin and bites its attacker. When that happens, it's usually game over for the victim. Despite the venom, many people keep them as pets, fueling a huge demand for them in the black market. They are hunted and put in inhumane conditions. To avoid venomous bites, some people remove their teeth. However, removing the teeth doesn't completely eliminate the venomous effects. They can cause anaphylactic shock in humans, which, undoubtedly, is not something good. Number 8, the beaver. Yes, I'm not kidding about this one. Beavers are actually very, very dangerous. These cute animals are nocturnal and are native to North America and Eurasia. The unique feature of these animals is that they build homes in the form of dams, canals, and lodges. Some people prefer to keep them as domestic pets, and that's where the problem lies. They are usually aggressive when taken out of their natural habitat. Additionally, when they are infected with rabies, they become unpredictable and more likely to attack. When frightened, they will attack humans both on land and in water. Their sharp front teeth can easily pierce the skin and flesh of victims. Their bites can sometimes cause damage to arteries, which, as doctors will tell you, is not something you would want to happen to you. Number 7, the Fire Salamander. The Fire Salamander is an amphibian found mainly in European countries. They are famous for their black and yellow coloration, although some specimens also feature red and orange hues. They can live up to 50 years, and all these characteristics make people think they are great pets. In fact, there are people who have them as such. The problem is that having this creature as a pet is equivalent to petting an enraged diamondback rattlesnake under the chin. The skin of this animal is covered with a toxin that is secreted by glands located just beneath the skin. This toxin is extremely toxic and, when ingested, directly attacks the victim's central nervous system, causing a variety of problems including uncontrollable muscle convulsions and hypertension. Needless to say, the toxin is extremely harmful to humans. In the animal kingdom, bright colors are usually a warning sign, and this is especially true for this dangerous amphibian. Number 6, the leopard seal. Leopard seals are so named mainly because of the markings on their bodies that resemble the spots of a leopard. Native to Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa, these adorable marine mammals look like they should be performing at Sea World, but in reality, that's not a good idea. These creatures are highly aggressive towards humans, and this is no exaggeration. They bite people and drag them into the icy water. Many travelers and biologists have suffered attacks from these seals. They also have the habit of attacking boats, making life difficult for researchers traveling on water who need to protect their vessels. These huge seals are extremely territorial against other species and will take possession of the area where they reside. They prefer to be in groups, and it's rare to see them alone. They prefer to eat penguins, as it is easy for these fast predators to catch them. They are not afraid to bite anything that moves, whether on land or in water. These seals grab their prey with their powerful jaws and shake them violently. Once they have the prey in their grasp, they swallow them whole, if possible, or tear off huge chunks. Clearly, this is not an animal you would want your kids to be swimming with along with the dolphins. 
Number 5, The Moose. The moose looks quite friendly, perhaps because it appears to have a permanent smile on its face. Absolutely massive, they are the largest and heaviest member of the deer family. They reside in parts of Canada, Russia, and Alaska, preferring colder climates to warmer ones. They look so docile that most people don't think twice before approaching them. Most of the time, nothing notable happens, with the moose preferring to keep a safe distance from humans. But when a mother moose is with her calf, things are very different. They are very protective of their calves and will attack anything, including humans, when they feel something is threatening them. In fact, moose are believed to attack more humans than bears and wolves. They also tend to be aggressive when they are hungry or in the presence of dogs. Number 4, The Wolverine. If you didn't know what a wolverine is, I bet you'd be tempted to pick it up or pet it when you saw one. They are found in large numbers in northern Canada and Alaska. Although these furry animals look like teddy bears, they are not as cute as they seem. They are strong and aggressive carnivores, with a powerful bite and sharp claws. They are capable of attacking animals larger than themselves, including humans. Their sharp jaws and claws make them more than a match for any creature. They hunt a wide range of animals, from small squirrels and rabbits to elk and even adult moose. Of course, they will also attack humans if provoked. There are documented cases where these animals were domesticated only to later attack their owners, even if they were raised by humans from pups. It seems you can take an animal out of the wild, but you can never really take the wild out of an animal. Number 3, The Blue-Ringed Octopus. This one is always mentioned in many of our lists, and for good reason. Humans are like babies in some ways, always attracted to bright and shiny colors. The thing is, pretty doesn't necessarily mean safe, especially in the animal kingdom, and this next animal on our list is the perfect example of that. The blue-ringed octopus is a stunning animal. The distinct blue rings covering its body, which give it its name, make it one of the most beautiful animals in the world. The blue rings have another function, though. And you must know by now that it's a warning sign for everyone around not to touch it, as it is one of the most venomous animals in the world. They primarily use their toxin to hunt prey. However, if mishandled, they won't hesitate to use their powerful toxins to defend themselves, especially from humans. The worst part is that their bites often go unnoticed as they are completely painless, making immediate treatment practically impossible. Later on, though, the toxin will cause intense pain and numbness, sometimes leading to immediate respiratory problems and paralysis. Eventually, the symptoms will lead to unconsciousness and, well, you know what comes after that. Number 2, The Platypus. The platypus is among nature's most unlikely animals. In fact, the first scientist to examine a specimen believed it was a hoax. The animal is best described as a mix of more familiar species, the duck for its bill and webbed feet, the beaver for its tail, and the otter for its body and fur. Platypuses hunt underwater, where they swim gracefully, paddling with their front webbed feet and steering with their back feet and beaver-like tails. Skin folds cover their eyes and ears to keep out water, and the nostrils close with a watertight seal. In this posture, a platypus can stay submerged for one or two minutes and use its sensitive bill to find food. They are quite cute in their own way, but never, ever try to pick one up, especially the males. Males have a venomous apparatus on their hind legs, venom glands in their thighs and a hollow spur near the heel. This venom is not dangerous to humans, but it is extremely painful and causes rapid swelling in the affected area. It can also cause a rise in temperature. For smaller animals like dogs, this venom can be fatal. Scientists have yet to discover the purpose of this venom, so for now, hands off, please. Number 1, The Poison Dart Frog. Yes, the poison dart frog, with its various colors and patterns, is one of the most dazzling animals in the world. However, the truth is that they possess enough venom to compete with the most poisonous creatures. Just a small amount of this venom is extremely fatal to humans. In fact, a frog only 2 inches long carries enough toxins to incapacitate up to 10 humans. The thing is, they don't look dangerous at all. They are small compared to other frogs and are even brightly colored, ranging from yellows, greens, reds, and oranges. But, among all of them, it's the golden one you really need to avoid. They don't produce the venom on their own but rather from feeding on a particularly venomous insect, almost exclusively. This is why captive-bred dart frogs are very safe to handle. Among the more than 100 species of dart frogs, it's the golden frog that is the most dangerous. Contact with their skin is enough to introduce the venom into your system, so touching them with bare hands is a big no-no. Ironically, scientists are also using the same toxin in some medical applications, so they're not all bad. Do you know any dangerous animals that don't seem dangerous? Let us know in the comments section below. Want to watch more videos about dangerous animals or not? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen.
As always, folks, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.